Hello again, and welcome to another tutorial for Mesozoica. This one is about visitors. Somehow, visitors are flocking to my park already, even though I have nothing. Maybe they really like my fountains. Anyway, this is a uh, park entrance blueprint that I made. So what you need to know about park visitors is that there is a limit to the number of visitors that will be in your park at any one time, and that limit goes up as you build more structures and include more dinosaurs in your park. In the build tab you'll notice that there's a category that's core blocks. Core blocks are blocks that aren't just for show, they have a purpose. One of them is the park entrance, another one is the cinema, and finally we have the hamburger kiosk, and of course the hatchery too. The more of these that you have in your park, the more visitors will spawn. I'm gonna give my visitors something to eat they must be very hungry, walking back and forth in a straight line. So I'm going to just go to my blueprints real quick and grab my burger kiosk. Nothing fancy. Stick it in the park. You have to make sure that this little eye goes away by attaching it to a path. And then people will start lining up for your tasty burgers. You can see that just already, by increasing my number of core blocks to 2, my visitor count went up from 38 to 43. Look how happy this guy is waiting for his burger. What? The other thing that makes visitors want to come to your park is, of course, having dinosaurs. There are a number of dig sites available already, and each dig site has the possibility of finding some dinosaurs. Dinosaurs have different ratings. They're grayed out right now, so it's a little hard to see. Um, but the ratings go from poor, to common, to uncommon, to epic, to rare, to legendary. And the quality of the dinosaur affects how many visitors will be added to your park once you've created the dinosaur. So now I've built a hatchery, which is a third core block. So my visitor count has gone up to 76. You see my money is also increasing, even though I'm building things and spending money, because the money goes up depending on how many visitors are in your park. I guess they're buying a lot of burgers. You can see that the dinosaur's popularity is common, so it's not the best, it's actually the second worst, so it's not going to draw a lot of guests to my park, but it's better than not having any dinosaurs at all. So let's make some. I sent a team to the dig site and got a legendary skin for this Tarbosaurus. It's the smoky skin here. Right now in Mesozoica, the visitors only care about the popularity of the dinosaur, but in a future version of the game, they'll also take into account the skin, so it's better to have a legendary skin than a common skin, or a poor skin, or even an epic skin. Now that I have a few dinosaurs in my park, my visitor count has increased to 118, and it's still going up. I'm going to build a second enclosure and get another dinosaur, so that I can get even more visitors in my park. We go through the process of finding fossils. I managed to dig up the Pachyrhinosaurus, so that's the next one that I'm going to hatch. It's an epic dinosaur which means it's going to draw in a lot more visitors. The first baby Pachyrhinosaurus is coming out, and you can see that my visitor total has increased to 147. So the moral of the story is, the more dinosaurs and the better dinosaurs you have, the more visitors will want to come to visit your park. And the more visitors you have in your park, the more money you make. Thanks for watching.